Hello, dear friends. Thank you so much for coming back to uh, BMI Care TV community. I am glad to be sharing this uh, additional video on the various universities that are offering the program Master of Science in Engineering Management. And I'm here to actually show you the steps of how you can actually come up with a table of this nature. So this table, if you can actually pay close attention, you can see that it has got a list of universities, then it has got the cost of tuition fees per year, the living expenses per year, personal and other additional expenses, and then the total indicative costs per year. So these are like just estimates so that you can actually know what is the total cost of attendance for the program that you have chosen. And then in addition, there are some acceptance rates and then the program name and the link to the invest program. Now in the link to the invest uh, program, you can actually see that some universities have put two links within uh, each uh, you know, quorum. Now the reason for this is that I had actually gone a step further for some of these universities to look at available funding within those universities. So you can actually explore the website of the university and you know establish what kind of financial aid is available. So within the financial aid section, you will be able to find information about internal funding, the funding which is being offered within the university at the departmental level and various foundations within the university. And then also within that section, you'll be able to find information about uh, loans that are being provided within the university, but also you will also be able to find information about, you know, organizations that are providing loans, which may be recommended by the university. And you would have to now engage these organizations on your own uh, so that you can come up with an agreement on how you're going to how much you're going to get and uh, the duration in which you're going to pay back that money. Yeah, so you may, you know, apply to those loan providing agencies. But before you actually consider the option of loans, you can actually find that there are other foundations that are providing scholarships and grants, money which you may not have to pay back. And all this information will appear within the financial aid section as external scholarships. And so you can actually take advantage of those scholarships before you consider applying for a loan. And so you can actually capture that information and list those different uh, funding agencies in the table so that as you are applying for your school in the United States, you actually have options for funding even as you consider financing your own education. Now, in terms of financing your own education, so what you will need is to come up with a list of all these universities and highlight the total expenditure that is expected per academic year so that you can then compare the universities uh, that are offering the particular program that you are interested to go and study. And then look at the cheapest of these universities. And then that is the one that you want to consider to apply for. Because you want to make sure that you have sufficient funds when you come to processing your visa. So that as your I-20 comes out, it will reflect that you have sufficient funds for you to actually uh, study your program in the United States as an international student on full time. So you can actually see in this table that there is a Kansas State University, which uh, has a total cost per academic year of 34,343. And these are just like estimates, so they can be slightly lower, they can be slightly higher. But, you know, as we have to captured the information in this table, you can see that Arkansas State University is actually the cheapest of all the universities that I have managed to 
highlight information on so far. Now, the way I completed this table is what I would like to show you in this video. And I'm going to use St. Cloud State University. So we will capture uh, this, this name here, St. Cloud University. And then we will come to conduct a simple Google search for St. Cloud State University. So you can see that we are on St. Cloud University's website. Just in a minute, we are on St. Cloud State University website. And this is a university that is located in Minnesota. Now, what we are looking at is we want to go to the program. So if you want to go to the program, we can use the long cut by going to uh, the graduate students and then looking for the program that we're interested in. But uh, I would like to uh, simply utilize the search section. So I'm going to look for a master of engineering management. So this is the one I'm interested in. So I will be brought to the master of engineering management. And there I am on the Master of Engineering Management. So these are the details about the Master of Engineering Management. So you can actually see here that uh, there is even information about graduate assistantship. So St. Cloud State University typically offers approximately 300 graduate assistantships each year. So this results in nearly 30% of the full-time graduate students having a graduate assistantship. So graduate assistantships are academically related employment opportunities uh, reserved for graduate students. There are three types of assistantships, program assistants, uh, research assistants, so you can see, so you can be a program assistant, you can be a research assistant or a teaching assistant through this particular program. So when you apply for this particular program, so uh, program assistants provide administrative support to uh, academic and student service units. Research assistants do uh, research and activities in collaboration with uh, a department or a professor. Teaching assistants work in classrooms under the supervision of a professor. This page contains selected policies related to graduate assistantships at St. Cloud State University. For more information on graduate assistantship, you can actually click this link here. So you can actually look at uh, the details as far as eligibility uh, is concerned. So you can see that a student must be admitted to the School of Graduate Studies and be registered full time, eight credits each term of the appointment. International students, US students, and US residents in campus based masters and doctoral programs are eligible to apply. So you can see that even international students are actually eligible to apply to graduate assistantship programs within this uh, engineering uh, program. So, what are the benefits? So, all graduate assistants will be eligible for the following benefits. So they'll be receiving a salary, and uh, you can actually see here that they have highlighted more information about what that looks like, how many hours you're going to work. So there's 20 hours per week, 10 hours per week, and how much that would translate into as a master stipend or doctoral uh, stipend. So I will leave this information within the description box so that you can actually look at all this at uh, your own time on how you can actually secure this assistantship uh, program because uh, the purpose of this video was not to actually go into details around the graduate assistantship opportunities but you can actually see that uh, there are scholarships even within these universities so what we're interested uh, to look into is to complete that particular table so this is the program masters of engineering management so in completing that table, we will copy that link there because this is what we're interested in. And then we'll go back to uh, the table and uh, then we'll paste that link there. 
Now, what we want is we don't want to paste it like this, so we will have to manually paste it. So we will paste it without formatting. So there we have it. And then we will say master of engineering. management okay there we have it so now the next thing that we're going to do is let's look at what the acceptance rate looks like for uh, St. Cloud State University so you can see that the acceptance rate is 95.28 percent and again this one I just did a simple Google search to say St. Cloud State University acceptance rate for 2023 and so it's that and it will you put here so 95.28 percent okay so there we have it the next thing we're going to do now is to look at the cost of attendance so as far as the cost of attendance, we'll go back to this page and then we are going to search for that information on the web page. So we're going to say cost of attendance for international students. And it has come there as cost of attendance, tuition, and fees. And you can see that it starts off with the undergraduate cost of attendance. So if you wanted to be more specific, would have said cost of attendance for graduate uh, international students. But you will find that that information is also here. So this is uh, for undergraduate, and it starts off with the uh, residence within Minnesota. Then there's non resident uh, that is those individuals who don't reside within Minnesota, and this includes international students. Uh, but this is for undergraduate. But our interest is we are looking at uh, graduate cost of attendance. So we will we'll click that there. And then you can see that the information comes up here. Again, it starts with residents within Minnesota and then highlights information for non resident. So if you are a non-resident, you can see that the total cost comes to uh, 15,230 for each semester. Now, if you multiply that by two, it actually comes to 30,460. So we will put this information here. So that's the total. Now, the next is, let's look at what tuition costs are like so it's 14,130 so we'll copy that and we'll put it in this particular table there and the next is to look at what housing and food is costing so that is 9,860 dollars so we will put this in that table here. Then the rest is going to be put in other costs. So let's look at what those other costs look like. So we are going to add everything else and then put it in the other uh, section that remains. So we are going to have 1,184. 1,184 plus 14 plus 187 plus 1,800 plus 216. So that comes to 6,470. 6,470. So you can see that now. St. Cloud State University has become the cheapest in uh, among us the list of these universities that we have highlighted, followed by Arkansas State University. But 
St. Cloud State University has become the next, I mean, the, the cheapest, and then Arkansas State University follows as the second most expensive. So if you are going to be considering which universities to apply for, you probably be considering to apply to St. Cloud uh, State University, and then Arkansas State University in that order, and then, of course, there are still some more universities which, on your own now, you are going to complete this particular table so that you can actually look at the cost of uh, engineering management, a master's in engineering management at each of these universities, and then make considerations to which universities you would want to apply to. If you want to apply to all of them, or if you want to apply to five of the cheapest universities, then that is uh, essentially up to you. But you can actually see that I've shown you that it's also possible to have funding. Now, because we also were able to find that there was funding in this university, so we'll try to capture that link that showed funding for uh, through graduate assistantship options. So we'll click on that link and then we'll capture this link for funding so that at your own time dear friends you can explore this link and uh, see what are the eligibility criteria for this funding option that is being provided at this university so with this that i've shown you dear friends i would like to encourage you to please complete this table at your own time if you are interested in master of engineering management but if you're interested in, an, in another program you probably want to consider to follow the similar steps that i've actually shown for all these universities you may also add your own universities at your own time at this point i'd like to simply encourage you if you have not subscribed to this channel to please subscribe to this channel become part of the dmi care tv community and once you've subscribed click that bell icon and you know click all notifications so that when you upload videos of this nature you will be the first one to know you'll be the first one to be notified and please share these videos widely with your friends with your family members and within your networks we would like a good number of people to go, to have access to these opportunities because these opportunities are readily available and people should be aware of these opportunities and it is only through you that these videos could actually be made accessible to others who are not aware about this channel at this point i would like to simply say thank you very much for being part of the dmi in the community thank you very much for watching this video until we meet again in another video it's bye bye for now